Lance Armstrong, Cycling, 2012. Armstrong was stripped of his seven Tour de France titles and banned from professional cycling for life after the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency found him guilty of using EPO and other banned substances. Marion Jones, Track and Field, 2007. The American sprinter confessed to using EPO before the 2000 Sydney Olympics, where she won five medals. Jones was later stripped of her medals and served a six-month prison sentence for lying to federal investigators. Alberto Contador, Cycling, 2010. The Spanish cyclist tested positive for clenbuterol during the 2010 Tour de France and was later found guilty of using EPO as well. Contador was stripped of his 2010 Tour de France and 2011 Giro d'Italia titles and served a two-year ban. Alexander Vino Karov, Cycling, 2007. Vino Karov tested positive for blood doping with EPO during the 2007 Tour de France and was banned for two years. Floyd Landeis, Cycling, 2006. Landeis was stripped of his 2006 Tour de France title after testing positive for synthetic testosterone and later admitted to using EPO and other banned substances throughout his career. Rita Jeptu, Marathon, 2014. The Kenyan marathon runner tested positive for EPO and was subsequently banned for four years. Thomas Decker, Cycling, 2009. Decker tested positive for EPO in 2009 and served a two-year ban. Noriyuki Haga, Motorcycle Racing, 2000. Haga tested positive for EPO during the 2000 Superbike World Championship and was banned for six months. Evi Sockenbacher Stell, Biathlon, 2014. The German biathlete and cross-country skier tested positive for the banned substance erythropoietin. EPO, during the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics. As a result, Sockenbacher Stell was disqualified from the Games and handed a two-year bond from competition. The scandal significantly impacted her career, with her reputation tarnished and her achievements in question. Colin Chartier, Triathlon, 2023. The American professional triathlete confessed to using erythropoietin, EPO, during his career, admitting to the doping violation publicly. Following his admission, Chartier faced consequences in the form of a bond from competition, loss of sponsorships, and a tarnished reputation. The incident sparked a conversation around the use of performance-enhancing drugs in triathlon and the importance of maintaining a clean and fair sport.